Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. This is a split system refrigerator and we're going to be relocating it from right here to this area. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. We're going to be relocating this system over to this area. If you guys remember, there used to be a refrigerator here and we removed that. Had walls here, they opened everything up. They got construction going on. And I opened this hole back up. So we're gonna run the pipes and wires through here. We're back in this machine room. So this is a water-cooled setup. We're gonna begin by shutting down the power. Got two sources of power, one from downstairs, one for outside, excuse me, one for upstairs. So we're gonna turn the power off. I got my recovery equipment here and we're gonna start by recovering the gas from this unit right here. We're now recovering. Okay, so the recovery is done. I just wanna show you guys an idea of what we're dealing with here because we gotta kinda figure things out. Condensing unit is here. The pipes are going all the way down there through there into a wine room. All right, so the condensing unit was right past there. Where you see the little orange actuator. Pipes run through. And I found where the original piping is going through. This is a walk-in wine cooler. It's really a terrible setup here. And this is gonna be kind of tricky to do. But right there, that's all the piping going through. And if you pay attention, look at the color, you see a a yellow cable. All right, we're walking out of the wine room. And then where we have the new penetration, well, it was for the old unit, but I'm reusing it, is right there. That's where I showed you guys last time. So we're gonna be running everything through there. And then the power for this box for upstairs is actually right here. And I believe it's that right there, that yellow one. And that's actually Romex. That's that shouldn't be used. I believe this is it. Let's unplug this, and we should see that we got no power in the refrigerator upstairs, and I have the power off for the condensing unit. Two separate sources of power. All right, all the power is off, blower is off. So looks like we're good. I see the pipes coming in through there. Right there goes underneath. Right there. That's the piping right there. We're gonna have to cut that up. Let's follow that. And the power must come from right behind this thermostat. Right, so here's the box button behind. You see the yellow cord? It goes into this little 1900 box. That's our power. What a horrible setup. Stuff is just hanging, sitting on the floor. So these are our two pipes, and here's our power wire. I'm gonna use as much length as we can. Probably cut it right here. Then we're gonna pull it out from downstairs. Next, we're gonna make a cut here just so we don't have pipes dragging with us. And then, so we can move the box, then we'll be free once we disconnect the electrical and the piping. And let's follow these pipes. Horrible this is. Literally sitting on the floor. No wonder everything leaks here. All right, here's the box. Man, this is super messy. Oh, and there's other stuff going through here. What is this? Oh man, there's other stuff going through here. You know what, I'm gonna leave that. Uh, let me get something to cut. Let me get the lines, man. What is going on here? So it's gotta be just these two wires going into the box that I see here. Hold up. I gotta figure this out. Okay, so we unplug this yellow cord from downstairs. It's just a little tricky. If we follow it, it comes in, 
comes in and it goes straight into this plug this little black plug there but i see that goes actually back into the box right there so that must be for the lights that must be for the lights and the fan that's why i turned it off but that has nothing to do with what's going on here so these two go to the thermostat and these two wires are coming from this conduit that thermostat must get sent down this must go downstairs this goes to our condensing unit that thermostat's what tell us tells us to start so i gotta figure out what's going on here let me make sure that there's no power as well i don't want to cut anything we got to do this accordingly because if we get into a wiring issue here it's going to be a nightmare okay so as far as this yellow cord let's check across we know that's going to be 120 nothing 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 we're good to cut that next we got the thermostat power that must be coming from downstairs i turned off the power from the condensing unit we got nothing there nothing to ground so we're safe to cut so yeah that yellow cord powers up the fan and the lights but the, the real power for the thermostat is actually coming from the condensing unit into the thermostat and then back to the condensing unit to start the compressor that's what's going on here so we got that figured out let's chop this up just gonna cut this right here just keep everything wired so we know the deal all right so that's that and as far as these just cut it again let's start taking off this box cut those two wires so let's pull it out from the back so the thermostat one I'm just marking it with a wire nut on this side and that next wire nut goes here and the one that's cut goes with the one that's cut so our electrical is free all right this is such a gross job <laughs> you know what let's just cut it from here just so we can free it up i could always trim from later we already recovered the gas we got the electrical disconnected all the power is off once i cut this i'll uh, be able to move the box to at least see what it's going to entail to to move it it's a pretty big box it looks like it might be a little heavy but we're gonna do what we can all right let's cut the next one out of the way I'm gonna cut it here and then I'm gonna cut at the hole and then we're gonna, we're gonna pull the pipes down from downstairs and trace it out and we're gonna see what's the most efficient and the smartest way we can run the new pipes without making this a headache we need to get this up and running and all of this done within one day all right so we got that and then we're gonna cut the other one there and then pull it from downstairs all right so everything it's like no space around here and look, this whole thing is rotted away. This thing's gonna collapse. Even the pan, the frame is collapsing. If you guys see, look how uneven that ceiling is. It's all, all this stuff is coming down. Anyways, pipes are right here somewhere. I'm gonna call Chris on the radio. I'm gonna have him shake the pipe. And we're gonna see which one is which, but I see the yellow wire. Oh man, look at the top of this pan. It's freaking disgusting. <laughs> oh man. Come in, Christian. I copy. All right. Pick those pipes up and down. Let's see if we see anything. Okay, doing it now. All right, hold on one second. Do one, do one pipe at a time. Do just a small pipe. All right, pull that one out. Okay. I got this one. These are the two pipes, man. She's crazy. Man, I could barely reach anything here. Really far away, but. got it 
All right, so as I mess around with this, I'm seeing that this is also the pipe goes into here. And then this is, yeah, this is it right here. This is it right here. Oh, oh man, it went all over my phone. <laughs> so I can't have nice things. And I don't wear white, it'll be dirty in two seconds. All right. Whew. Oh man. All right, so this is it. Let's cut it up. All right, so here's the pipes here. Track them down. They're in really, really in gross shape. It's not like the pipes are like deteriorating. Well, I guess in a sense they are. They're all getting that patina on it, but it's all this grease and mold and mildew. Like, ugh, it's really nasty. Anyways, these are the two pipes. I just want to clear that out the way, make as much space. And then we're going to follow these lines to see where it goes. And we're going to get it as close as we can to that area where we're going to run the new pipes. Then we're going to go pick up some line sets. All right, we're good. Gas didn't shoot out. This is, this is definitely it. And we're just going to see what's the easiest way we can do it and the most efficient way. So let's just clear this out, make some space. We were just there. We go somewhere this way. I see some refrigerant pipes in there. Wonder if it's any of that. But look at how everything is just. This is done. Chris, let's get the garbage bag. This whole thing is gonna collapse. Such bad shape. Look at all that mold and everything. Come on. This place needs to get it together. All right, all the pipes are coming from here, so let's find which one is which. All right, Chris, pull on those pipes. Pull. See that moving? All right, hold up. I'm gonna pull. Tell me if it's the same one. Hold up. It was moving? It was moving? Okay, okay. All right, so this is us right here. These two right here. Okay. Chris is on that side. I'm in the ceiling here. Move the pipes. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, that's the one. That's it. Yep. All right. That's this right. is it. Okay, cool. Pipes just running across here. So this is the one. All right, I want to cut from here. I'm going to cut it right here. That's going to be it. I'm going to cut from there. And we're going to run the pipes this way. And here. And right in this hole, that's where the new fridge is going to be. All right, so this is it right here. You know, let's cut it nicely. And we're just going to continue the piping from here because it's already ran from the box. Let's just get rid of it. One last confirmation, Chris. This is it? Yep, that's correct. That's it? Okay. And first of all, shout out to all the hardworking dads and moms out here. Anybody doing it for their families and honestly to survive as well. Look, at I got a bunch of rat droppings here. I mean, oh man, so the things we do, right? It is what it is, especially living in a big city. So... Gotta give them credit. Gotta give them credit. Shout out to all the HVAC techs, air conditioning, refrigeration, just every tradesman and woman out there. Let's do what we gotta do. It is what it is. So, I'm gonna cut this up and that's gonna be the route. We're gonna elbow from here. Honestly, we might even be able to bend it because this is only 3 8 and quarter inch. It's gonna be easy. Then I'm gonna go pick up some materials and we're gonna get this party started. All right, just got some new line sets. I think at this point, we're gonna move this out of the way and let's shift it this way, open up this hole so we can actually see how we're gonna work. Get an idea. And we're gonna run the holes, the pipes and everything through here. 
So let's just move everything. Give us space so we can run the line set from up here down. And just try to line things up. Let's get this thing out of the way. Go through there. Might need to move that can. Okay. Let's see if we can fit. Excuse me. And pretty much we're just gonna try to get this out of our way. Hopefully we can make this turn. Watch your head. Okay. I'm gonna just leave it somewhere out the way. Ain't no space here, but they'll figure this out. <laughs> It's gonna be not my problem anymore. All right, that's it. Yeah, I think we're gonna be able to slide this. Oh yeah, we good. This one against that wall. Hold up, let me make sure nothing's in the way. Hold up. Something's getting caught. Oh yeah, that wire goes in there. I disconnected it inside. That's, we're gonna have to pull that. No problem. All right, that disconnected now. Just got to really remember where this goes or we're gonna be screwed. All right, let's do this. Try to lift a little while you... Try to, oh wait, watch, watch the pipes over there. This area. I think you're good. Okay. See where you're caught. Pick it up a little and pull it towards you. Okay? Now we can just slide. All right. Hold on. Tile. Okay. Wasn't it? They left the things inside. Oh, wait, where are you going? It's going against the wall. Okay. No, no, this goes right here. Watch out. Right here. Okay. Got it, got it. Okay. So right here, where it's not going to hit this box. Got it, okay. Right past this wall. Just fits. Look at that drain is clogged. All right, so those are the pipes and look how nicely that matches up right there. It's so good. Here's these wires. Man, I feel like I might have to do something just temporary for now. Cause this just looks horrible. I want to run like conduit or something like that. Add a new box, add conduit. And I guess underneath here we could run the extension. I mean, I still don't like the idea of that. They should really have somebody professionally run this. I could do it, but I'm honestly super busy. Let's cut this up, sand this down. I wanna move the box out of the way and we're gonna run the line set from downstairs, I mean from upstairs to down and make our connections. All right, I'm just gonna cut the pipes right here. And I guess we're just gonna take off from there. This looks so bad. I really gonna have to sand this down properly. But let's chop this up, move the box out of the way and Start running that line set. That's what it's all about right now. Get this thing in the vacuum, also change the filter dryer, and then I'll figure out the electrical from there. All right, got that one going. Got this started. So we're gonna actually, I'm gonna be downstairs pulling from there while Christian is gonna be up here opening up the length and directing. And we got this cut, cleaned it up a bit, and we're gonna make our connections. All right, hold on real quick. I'm gonna get situated and we're gonna start doing this. You're gonna, I'm gonna guide you. So just unroll while I pull. Got it.
stop for a second. I gotta straighten out the pipe on the other side. Copy that. So guys, this is pretty much gonna be the process. It's really not bad. No, not too bad. See the hole is right there. Okay, keep going. I'm gonna start pulling. Got it. Okay, stop right there. Got it. So the pipes are right there. Gonna see how I can go through above that yeah, top. There's a bunch of sheetrock in the way. Gotta see where it's at. see it all oh, it's over there all right that's a little tricky I think it's right over there okay I could see I set out my light over there so if you can see that that's where I need to go Gotta straighten this out a little There's so much stuff in the way you're freaking electrocuted here but I see the pipe right there. All right, start on rolling. Gotcha. Yep, keep going, keep going. Stop for a second. I'm gonna set up the last ladder. Hold on a second. Last position. Yeah, just hold on one second. I'm just setting up the last position. When you start feeling me pulling, just do a little bit more. We're just about there. Got it. Beautiful. All right, first pipe, we already made it to where we need to do it. We gotta make two, con uh, two couplings and we're good here. <laughs> we're gonna start setting up the next, the next pipe. Understood. All right guys, so pretty much you guys saw the process of how we did that. He was upstairs on rolling, pushing down while I pull. And I'm gonna leave this part out of it. We're gonna run the next line. 2,000 years later. All right, so I got the pipes here. I'm gonna cut back the insulation, sand down the pipes, sand down the fittings, and let's just fit this up. All right, that's gonna be ready to braze. Everything is set up. We're gonna make it look neat afterwards. I just want them separated while I braze. All right, time to cut these, move the box back, and fit this. I'm gonna connect this to this somehow. <laughs> All right guys, that's it. I have to make our connections before I start anything. I'm gonna braze the connection yeah. downstairs, then open this up and blow everything out with nitro just to make sure there's nothing in there. Make the final connection and then put in my filter dryer. All right, we're gonna start down here. Keep a good eye on that. Let's light it up. Watch, don't stand directly underneath so it doesn't hit you. Camera died while I was doing that, but braise that, braise that, 
little ugly on that side, but it doesn't matter. That thing is buried, and the main thing is that it's not gonna leak. Now we're gonna go, and I have the upstairs open. I disconnected those elbows. I wanna just push some thick nitro through the system, make sure nothing got caught in there while we were doing anything. Let's burn this place down. So last thing I'm gonna do as far as pipe work, I'm gonna change out this filter dryer. You always wanna leave that for last and pay attention to the arrow. This is a flare, so it's gonna be simple. One side is threaded into here, other side is flared right there. All right, so I got this one out. Here's a new dryer, the arrow. You wanna go and follow the direction up to the expansion valve, up to the blower section. Anyways, as far as these threads, I'm using Nylite Blue gasket and thread sealant. It's compatible with all refrigerants and will not contaminate the system. I just like to do that for a little bit of reassurance. So we're just gonna put that on the threads. I like that it's clear so it doesn't leave a mess. All right, got the new dryer in. Got a nitro tank connected. We're gonna charge through the high side. All right, and we're gonna use Cal Blue micro gas leak detector, and we're gonna check all our connections. Might as well check this little flare as well while we're at it. I could already see these are buried. Got a little over 300 pounds in this system. You'll know. All right, got the vacuum pump hooked up. We released the nitro, everything's looking good. Let's see what happens, this thing's coming down pretty fast. Let's give it a chance. I'm gonna go ahead and take lunch, come back, see what's going on, and take care of that electrical situation. All right, so I picked up some electrical supplies. Look how gross that is, like. I'm not trying to use that rusted up stuff, a mill million holes everywhere. I got everything new, got new connectors and everything, and I'm, we're not going to use that Romex, man, it looks crazy, and I also got a piece of conduit to like make this look a little nice, I'm going to run two down, elbow, and then run everything downstairs. Alright, back in the morning, this looks really good, 
Got that wired, and as far as those wires there, so one of these conduits is the power source for the fan and the lights, and then the next conduit is the power source for it's coming from the condensing unit. I have that power off at the moment. I did turn this on. We got lights and we got both fans. Let's make our way down to the condensing unit. All right, this thing started.